I am now officially on Instagram, so go follow me there at Puneet Chawla Official. If you guys want Framer Beta for web, then go ahead in the comments and say, I want Framer exclamation mark, and I will send you an invite over. Hey everyone, welcome back to another awesome video. Today we're checking out the best UI animation tool, which is now available for free on the web so you don't even need to get the software for your computer. Now Framer is a very famous tool made specifically for Mac which is now on web. So both Mac and Windows users can use it even on Linux. So if we move down we can see how amazing all these examples that they're portraying look. They're so fluid and look amazing. Once you enter the website, once you've registered, you will get a page like this when you log in. So it's very easy to import something onto Framer, import a design through Figma and Sketch. So if you're a Figma user and Sketch user, you have good news, people. Of course, I'm sure they're working on something with Adobe XD. Should be coming soon. I have my fingers crossed. Now the actual designing screens look very similar to what you see on Figma, Sketch or even Adobe XD. You have all your layers on the left like this and you have all the options to do or interact with the artboards right here on the top. You of course also have commenting just like in Adobe XD or Figma where you can just leave a comment and say, hey, I love this. And you can even give handoffs. So if you have developers you're working with, then this is a great tool to give handoff. You can just mark something and all the code will appear on the right. You can copy CSS. You can even share it with your developers. Now, like in Adobe XD and Figma, you don't have to make multiple artboards. You just have to pair each element with the other element and it just transitions between that. As you can see, I have a really cool example opened here. If I swipe right, as you can see, it looks as if I'm swiping a page like this. How cool is that guys? The best part I like about Framer is that they're showing all the cool examples and formats right here. So if you want a certain animation, they have a library under examples. You can copy any of these libraries and they have a lot of motion design and interaction design in each of these. So for example, I want to pick up a star rating animation. I can just click on this. It will open up in the same window right here. And as you can see, I can interact with it on the right here if I click on this it will give me a certain rating it will fill up and such and such another really unique feature they have is insert so if I click on insert it basically shows me this library of things that I can add so everything from the frames or artboards I want to add or interactions to all the plugins that they support to adding a frame like iPhone 11, Google Pixel 4 and much more to also adding elements like buttons, checkboxes, everything is ready made. So this is something that is very unique that they give you a lot of ready made content which is already animated like sliders, sticky notes, loading indicator. So you will have everything, everything in one place like a library of content. It's very, very simple to create a quick animation. I'll just show you guys how to do it with Framer for web. So if you go into insert, you open this up, you can click on this interactions tab here. I'll click on this. And as you can see, we get a lot of different sort of animations and interactions we can work with. One thing I really like is swiping between one page to the other. So I'll, I'll just choose this swipe between pages section right here. And what will and I'll just click on insert. If you want to read more about it, they have explanations for everything. If I click on insert, as you can see, they've already prepared this uh, animation frame for me. So for example, I'll place, uh, you know what, I'll write my name in the first one. Oops, this is too big. Uh, I'll probably just expand it like this and put it in the center like this. Uh, Puni, okay, Puni is fine for now. I'll replace the second one with something like uh, my last name, which is Chavla. So I'll place this half of my name, so Puneet Chav, <laughs> like this. So I can replace these with images or anything I like. And if I go ahead, click on frame, click on this play button, which is basically preview. And if I swipe from left to right, as you can see, it is swiping between two elements. You can even add effects on the right. So if I want it to animate like a cube would do, I can do that as well. So if we animate this once again, if I drag over, 
Ooh, see how this actually animates as if it's a three-dimensional cube? That looks really cool. Not only that, you can switch between two pages just like you do in Adobe XD or Figma with Smart Animate or Auto Animate. And just like Auto Animate, Framer for web has different triggers, tap, tap, start, click, even mouse down, mouse up. So these complex interactions, it has a target just like in XD or Figma. It also has something called motion magic. So just like auto animate, there is magic motion. Also, one more cool thing is you can change the Bezier curve. So if I move this uh, one on the top here, this angle will change and you can see at the bottom the preview. So every time you're designing or animating something, you can see a little preview of how the animation will work. You can change the timing, you can change the delay when it starts and you can even copy Bezier curve values which can get off Google or somewhere else as well. Uh, you can change how heavy an item should look like. So if an item is really heavy, it can get that really cool heavy effect as you can see here right here in the preview. If I make it heavier, see how it moves. Oops, see, it was heavier, it was more dense, so it went over the screen and it came back, giving it that little spring heavy effect right there. If you wanna share a prototype with somebody, you can quickly just share it here. You can even hide Framer inter interface so people don't see all these. And much like Adobe XD, Figma, and Sketch, we have a public package section. So they have Material UI, Framer Base Kit, which is basically just to get started switches, framer, base kit again, and you can check out their entire library of just all these cool plugins that you can add. And the plugins are almost never ending guys. I basically cannot touch the bottom guys. This is, this is absolutely ridiculous. The number of cool and useful plugins Framer Web has right now is incredible. So that was Framer Web in a nutshell. Again, if you want to be invited to such a cool project, then go down in the comments and tell me I want Framer exclamation mark. If you don't put the exclamation mark guys, I will not send you the invite. So don't forget that. Do that right now. Like this video if you did. Like this video if you did of course and also subscribe to my channel. That I really appreciate that. I will see you every Monday and Thursday like usual. Thank you for watching. God bless.